Hey Tubes, i to do something a little different today. I get about uh, five uh, comments uh, a week or so. People wanting me to show how to make a gasket and stuff. And I, you know, it's, uh, I, I just came in because I don't, I don't have something to make them for. But I, we just happen to have something I can make it for now. We uh, might actually might tore down our uh, four cylinder here. It was uh, running okay, you know, at the last show we took it and uh, we're happy with it. But uh, Mike just wants to see how everything is wearing, so there's nothing wrong with that, and it still runs good. But uh, he wanted to see what was going on, and uh, everything is perfect. But now we got to put it back together, and I got to make a gasket. So I'll show you guys how I make gasket for this. This one you can't you can't bang it out. You know, some people bang them out with a with a ball peen hammer and stuff, and uh, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable banging on. Uh, cast aluminum so I'll show you what I do yeah we'll make a video of this I mean uh, we didn't make any videos of it getting torn down and stuff like that but uh, we'll make a video of it and show you everything that uh, what's going on with that but uh, for now I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and uh, all I'm gonna do is uh, wipe everything down here with lacquer thinner all right I was gonna move this and put it up on a bench but uh, I forgot it's all bolted together, you know, the base is bolted to the, the wood there and the wood's bolted to the the little stretcher uh, cart there and then you got the generator in there and batteries in there and everything so uh, that's uh, it's about 80 pounds and I don't feel like lifting that so we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make our gas here right where it's at. Alright. Put some lacquer thinner on a paper towel here. And I'm just gonna clean off all of these surfaces here. Stay out of your way. Actually, see that, that brown shit? That's uh, that's Indian head. That's that uh, shellac to hold the gaskets on. I didn't plan on taking that off, but since it's coming off, I'll take it off. I'll try and speak up so you guys can hear me. I know you're pretty far away. Show you what we're doing next. Alright, what I got here is a piece of paper. I had to put two of them together because it's so long. But it's just computer paper. I guess if you guys wanted to use tracing paper or something like that. And what I'm going to do is uh, glue it down to there. And I'll show you what I'm going to use for the glue. Alright, I'm holding the camera with my left hand, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, what I'm going to use is this uh, Loctite spray adhesive. It's the real light stuff. And I'm just going to spray it on this. Okay. This contact cement, you're supposed to put it on both surfaces, but uh, we're not going to do that. I don't want to get the glue all inside my uh, thing there, or else I'd have to clean it out. So. We're just going to put the uh, one coat on this, let it dry. All right, we're pretty well tacked up over here, so uh, let's put it on. About there looks good. You just want to you want to keep this paper from moving while you're uh, while you're tracing it out. This uh, contact cement will do the trick. Okay. Alright, there's a couple ways you can uh, outline this. One way is just take a pencil and uh, go around it and it'll, it'll highlight the edges. And here's a hole right here. But there's a faster way. 
Uh, I had graphite powder, but I don't know where it's at. So what I'm doing is I'm just making some graphite powder here. Just take a regular pencil and cut it back with a razor blade. And then just scrape yourself a little pile of this dust here. And just with that dust, you know, you put it on your finger. And you can just go around. And it's a whole lot faster. than if you had a pencil. Alright. Let me go around this whole thing so uh, I'm not wasting your time. And we'll see what it looks like. Alright. It only took a little, little, uh, maybe a, a little bit of time, you know, maybe about uh, three or four minutes. Uh, right there, it looks a little fuzzy and stuff like that, but it's actually very defined. Let me get you off of here to get a better look. You can see uh, you got really crisp edges and stuff. And that's what you'd be using to, to cut around. You see up close you, you got real defined lines. Alright, even around a tape there, you know, you'd think you wouldn't, but uh, you get perfect lines. Alright, let me show you what we're going to do next. Alright, here's why you use the, the light contacts in that. This way you can pull it right off without any problems. Let me swing these around here. Excuse me. I said excuse me. All right. There we go. Let me lock these in place here. Maybe zoom these in a little bit. How's that? All right. Now what you want to do is, uh, this is a, let me turn you around here so I can see what's going on. Oh, that's better. All right. Got a nice piece of uh, gasket paper there. And you just take your uh, gasket to me. And it would be nice if you could line it up with the edge here. But uh, I'm going to go right about there. Okay. Make it flat. Sticking up, it actually picks the gasket up. Can you see that? Okay. So, that ain't going anywhere. Now you just cut it out. I'm going to cut this out with a, the outside. I'm going to cut it out with scissors. And then the inside. Actually, the inside, I'm going to leave a, a little uh, little wider than it should be. And I'll show you why. Alright. See how thin this is here, and then it goes out around. That's that's a, a set pin. That sets everything, keeps everything from moving. You know, it's uh, it's not tapped or anything. It just has uh, pins in there, alignment pins, I guess you call them. But anyway, you see how thin that is? It doesn't really have to be that thin. I could probably I could probably just make a straight line right across the the top here, and then go around here. And this here, this this doesn't need to be gasket. Just to, just around here bottom so and even this like so, so I could actually make that gasket a little wider and uh, stronger than if I had left it thin you can see let me see if I can give you some light here yeah you see how thick it is it even has these uh, little uh, titties up here and stuff it's a lot thicker and even this 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 is a lot thicker so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave me a little room that way you know a thin, a thin gasket's tough to cut a pain in the ass so I can get away with it. All right, I'll start cutting. All right, cut the excess off, and I got my uh, my fine Italian surgical scissors here, and I'm just going to go around and take my time and cut the outside. I'm going to 
shut these down because you don't have to watch all of that. Alright, I'll do that and show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, got the outside all trimmed up the way it has to be. And what I did is I, I broadened my line here. And I'm going to uh, use that. I'm just going to use a razor blade to cut that out. Alright, let me cut that out and then we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I cut the thread amount and I figured, well, I might as well show you everything else I'll show you. I cut it out with the razor. I'm cutting it on this rubber. That way it, it digs in and goes past where I have to go. Got a new razor blade. Nice sharp blade. bit right there. And there we go. I don't know if you've seen that last little bit. I was concentrating on my gasket here. But uh, that's the gasket and uh, now he's got to put the holes in it. I'll show you how to put the holes in it. And then these little pieces here, you don't throw these out because uh, there's still a lot of material there for cutting gaskets, carburetors, and stuff like that, so a lot left over. Alright, let's put some holes in this bitch and it'll be done. Alright, here's what I use for, uh, where's your, where you at guys up here? Here's what I use for the small holes, I don't know what size that is. If I had to guess, I'd say quarter inch, but uh, anyway, you see how rusted they are? I've used this thing for uh, 40 years or so, and it's still good. And you know it's uh, only cost you a dollar at the store, but well, man, it does uh, it works perfect. Now right here we got the uh, quarter inch holes. You line it up. There we go. Pop that bitch right out, and you get a nice clean hole. You're not going to get a cleaner hole than that. All right, I'm not going to show you me doing the rest of them, but then uh, here's what you do. I got some big holes here. These big holes here, uh, let's see sides out, like a 3 8 or something, 7 16 uh, It's uh, Harbor Freight, right? This probably only cost you a couple dollars of Harbor Freight. They, they call it a punch set. And uh, we're going to stick on a piece of oak and pop that out. I might go smaller, that looks like it might be a 3 8 But anyway, I also have these here. I think these might be leather, leather punches. I picked them up on a flea market and I got a variety of different sizes here and they work just as good. So if you see these, pick them up. You know, sometimes you gotta make a big hole. Here's uh, about a one inch. Let me see what it says. One and an one and an eighth. No, one and a half. It says one and a half. I don't like one and a half inch hole to me. Alright, let me set this up on the vise and uh We'll show you how you put these big holes in there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch these uh, six other holes in there. All right, I got me a piece of oak here, and I use this specifically for uh, punching holes and stuff. You want you want hardwood because soft soft wood is just gonna uh, tear your gasket up, but but hardwood wood will punch a nice nice hole in it. And you can see by the, the holes in here, you know it's well used. Even on the other side, you can see you see big holes I've cut. But anyway, I put uh, two screws in there. In the back of this uh, hunk of oak here, I don't even know what it was. Could have been, could have been off a pallet or something. But uh, anyway, just get yourself a nice piece of hardwood. And I'm sticking in a vise here. And it ain't going nowhere, you know. I'll be using this centerpiece right here. Uh, let me get your uh, material up here. Okay. Yeah, I went down to a three eight here. That other one was a little too big. But anyway, I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to center it up here on the on the center of the vise and then uh, we'll line it up, line it up with our hole 
And then uh, I got a hammer here, a ball peen. You don't need, need anything really this big, it just happened to be handy. And then that, uh, I'm going to give it two shots. One, one probably should have done it, but uh, there it is right there. And it gives you a perfect hole. Let me see you come down here. There you go, it gives you a perfect hole. Alright, so let me, let me punch these other three holes here, and then our gasket should be done. Alright, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to remove this paper here. It's coming off. I'm going to go slow just so it doesn't uh, pull out any of the gasket. It seems to be working pretty well. But then I'm also going to, I'm also going to mark on here, top. Even though I think it'll work both ways. Uh, I'm putting top that way, I know which way it was cut in case something is a little askew, but I, th I think it'll work either both ways. So, All right, let me take this paper off and then we'll throw it on, test it out for size. Alright, I guess it's all made now, it's all finished, so uh, let's uh, see if we can throw it on here. We're doing this with our left hand, so don't know how well it's going to work. I got the adjusting pins in here. It, oh, look, landed right on there. Worked better than I thought it would. Alright, so there you go. I was going to show you how to make a, a gasket by banging it out with a the ball peen hammer, but this uh, this video is probably getting 15, 20 minutes long, and Road King don't like long videos. And neither does a lot of other people, so maybe we'll make a part two and uh, show you how to make a gasket with a ball peen hammer uh, and a cast iron base. I got the base, so uh, and I need a gasket, so we'll do that. Alright, hope this helps somebody. Enough of this.